What made you decide to write the book? Was it people, you know, being like you're such a great speaker and you took it all your advice? Or was it well, I tell you, it's interesting. Um, after years of being an entrepreneur, mm -hmm. you know, entrepreneurship is not easy, but it's very fulfilling when you can cash and write your own checks. I mean, that's a wonderful thing. You can't get fired. You can't fire yourself. <laughs> but the thing about it was, uh, after years of going through the ups and downs, I mean, I've had the highs of the highs and lows of the lows. I've had days when oh, I only had four or five hundred dollars in the bank, uh, and I've had days when people have delivered hundred thousand dollar checks to my business by Curry. So going through that whole gamut, that would transform you into something, you know, yeah. you know, because it's speech to family sometimes. So I had to become a gorilla in order to survive, and that's why I use that metaphor because you have to have those days. I mean, you know, there's some people, some days when you're in class and you're taking it easy, and somebody cheats on your test, and you know they're cheating, and you don't say anything. That's the chimpanzee in you. But when you get pissed off and you say, look, stop looking at my paper, then that's your gorilla right there speaking out. I did that first day. You did you're a baby gorilla. The <laughs> teacher walked out of the room and the kid said, can I look at your Spanish test? And I just went like this. <laughs> and I was like, no. <laughs> She's baby gorilla in training. There you go. <laughs> Fantastic. But that's, that's exactly what it is. So I, all the time I said, somebody else must feel my pain. Somebody else has to know what I'm going through. Yeah. You know? And I wrote the book and people responded. It's selling all over the world. So I'm thankful. So it's yeah. all about experience. Yeah, it, it, it was a culmination of experiences that made me write the book, yes. That's a quick answer. <laughs>